Well, I'm going to stand on my record of hard work for this county, quite frankly. Since 2003, I've been working on road funding. And under my leadership with OTA 2 and 3, we have actually repaired every rural bridge in this county, and the last one that is under repair is Carver Bridge. Likewise, three times I have worked with various commissions with different folks to get on the ballot the notion that our road maintenance is falling behind. We did it in 2003, put it on the ballot, we failed. We did Street Smart in 2007, 2008. It failed. Third time is a charm. We're trying one more time to educate people to say road maintenance is falling behind because we lose our timber remover since 1984. It has virtually dropped to zero. We cannot use your property taxes on maintaining roads, and the gas tax is falling behind because of inflation. And let me say, remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you think it's just asphalt, it is not. It is also removing brush. It is striking, it is repairing shoulders in our rural areas because that is a huge safety issue. Now I am going to tell you a personal story. As you know, this past year my daughter had two children. I had to be with her. So since this is the 21st century, when I left, I continued to work. I never missed a meeting. And I was glad I was there because my daughter and her baby almost died at one point. And even so, at 2.30 in the morning, I was with this in contact with folks in the county, with email, with FaceTime, with call-ins, to do my job. And there is no mother or grandmother in this audience who would have done anything different. Because if you think Martha. that when you're older, that the, the duty to your children ends, it does not. And it's our job to do both.